Hello, this is Alex for Nuvius. I'm going to have a series of videos that are going to show you how you can connect your mobile applications to use with uh, the Microsoft Graph and Office 365 APIs. There's a lot of interest in doing that. And uh, I wanted to start with using the NativeScript OAuth plugin to get an access token, which you can use to query Office 365 and Microsoft Graph APIs. Let's start. I have a, a native script app here, and it's just a TypeScript starter app with the Hello World template with a couple of additional things. Uh, I've taken out the, the tab button and the message that displays. And instead, I, I have my own style, the Microsoft account button, which you could tap to log in. And um, in the view model, I have this on Microsoft tab handler, which I'm going to fill in shortly. So. I'm going to go to the command line and install the NativeScript OAuth plugin for this app. OK, that goes ahead and installs the plugin from NPM. By the way, if you wanted to view this on NPM, it's available here. NPMJS package NativeScript OAuth. There is another requirement here that we need to look at. If you're going to be able to query Microsoft Graph and Office 365, you're going to need to set up an account for Office 365. You can do that by following these links here. Also, now that we've installed the plugin, I want to go ahead and reference the interfaces from it and put that in my references file. So I'm going to copy this right here. I'm going to go back to my project, find the references file, and paste it in right there. That way, my IntelliSense for TypeScript works with uh, the defined API for the NativeScript OAuth plugin. The next step what we want to do is once we have our Office 365 account, I want to go and register an app, which is the app, the native script app that I'm writing. To do that, I go to apps.dev.microsoft.com, register and manage apps. And this is the simplest way to do it now at this point. There's several different ways of doing this, but this is definitely the simplest by far. So I'm going to log in with my Office 365 admin account. And this is just my test account. So we detected it's Office 365 and it redirected me. And it even has the Nuvius logo there, which you can configure. So I've uh, typed in my password. I'm going to sign in. And here is a list of applications. Now, if I want to add a new application, a new native application like NativeScript, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say add an app. I'm going to give it a name, my app to create application. OK, and now I just need to add a platform. It's going to be a mobile application. It created a client key, which we'll need in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that right now. Copy that client key. I'm going to click Save down at the bottom. OK, we're done here. Let's go back to the app code. And uh, that client key that I just copied, I'm going to temporarily paste it in here so I don't forget it. Now, in the app.ts file, this is where we're going to bootstrap our native script um, OAuth plugin. So I'm going to import the interfaces from the native script OAuth plugin. Now I'm going to paste in some code here that's going to initialize our Office 365 client. And you can find that in the documentation here as well. So we're going to paste in this code right here. OK. So we have our Office 365 init options, and we're going to call TNS module init Office 365. Now this client ID is an old one. Let me go ahead and get this new client ID that we've just generated, and I'm going to paste it in here. OK, and the scope is the permissions of what you want this app to be able to do. So far, I have user read write, which means I can read the profile data for the user that's logged in. And I can also read their OneDrive files and folders. And I can also write to the OneDrive files and folders. So we have the native script OAuth plugin bootstrapped. Now we can go ahead and start using it. Let's go to our main view model. I'm going to also import it here. Let me just copy it from here. And I'm going to import the same thing here in the view model. Uh, and I'm going to uncomment this. So when we tap on the button in the UI for logging in, we're going to ensure 
valid token, which will check to see if we already have a valid token and if the token is not expired. And if we don't have a token, it's going to go ahead and have us log in. Optionally, if you know you're logging in, you can just call the login function as well here. If you are just doing regular calls to get data, you are going to call ensure valid token each time you want to grab some data from the APIs. And that'll make sure that the user is logged in and the access token is current. Okay, so this will ensure. This will also make us log in because it's the first time we're going to be running it. And once we get that token, it'll print it out to the console. So let's go ahead and try this out. I'm going to say TNS run iOS emulator. Okay, we're going to click on this button that says Microsoft account. This is going to bring up the login screen for us. Notice it says my app too. Uh, remember, this is the name of the application that we registered my app too. Uh, so it's going to show up there. It, it knows based on the client ID. Okay, so I'm going to use my credentials to log in. You can use your live Microsoft live account, or you can use your Office 365 account here as well. So you saw that when I typed in my user ID, it also shows my company logo automatically there. I'm going to type in my password, super secret password here and tap sign in. Now watch the console on the left side. We're not actually getting any data, but you will see that we are getting the access token and the access token is going to be shown on the console. Uh, okay, since this is the first time we are using this app, uh, it's going to ask, do you trust this app to have full access to your files, access your data anytime? and read and update your profile. Remember in the scope, these are the three permissions that we specified. Let me go back to the app.ts file. This is the scope and these are the three uh, strings for the permissions that we wanted the app to have. And it's gonna display that to the user when they, when they use the app for the first time and they log in. So when I accept, it's gonna finish the login process for us. There we go. Uh, I've accepted, we've logged in and we've printed out the long access token to the console. This access token is the token you're going to pass in as the bearer token for the authorization header every time that you want to fetch data uh, from the Graph API or the Office 365 APIs. Okay, so now you know how to use the NativeScript OAuth plugin. Stay tuned for more videos where we actually use this token to access graph APIs and Office 365 data. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.